When most people think business intelligence tools, it's usually a one-way street where data flows from your data source into the reports and dashboards. But one often overlooked capability that some of these tools have is the ability to input data right on the dashboard that you're building. Let's look at an example, how to set up a basic version of this, and how to use it with a simple script. I'm Jeff, and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. So first off, why might you want to have write back or data input as part of a BI tool? Well, let's start with an example built in Dundas BI. Here's a scorecard where we're allowing a user to see the current values, history, and a forecast. Some of the best dashboards allow users to take an action, and this is exactly what we're doing here. We can click the edit button, and we can assign the next action that we want to take as we look at this data. This is very useful because we can assign someone else to work on it, or remind ourselves what we plan to do next based on what we're seeing. I'm making decisions right on this dashboard, rather than having the need to run out to another system. It's really cool stuff. There's many examples where data input can augment your BI experience. You could provide input forms to allow users to input things like forecasts. You could store user preferences for a more personalized embedding experience. You could set and change targets quickly without requiring IT to change your source data. And of course, you could take an action similar to the example that I showed you before. But one of my favorite things is this allows you to get into dashboards that are acting a little bit more like applications rather than the traditional dashboard that you want to see. So it's one of those very open things where it's kind of sky's the limits. Now to the how. To accomplish the example that I showed you, Dundas BI creates a table living in the BI tool itself that stores the actions that we want to do next on our dashboard. The reason for writing to a table living in the BI tool is because IT is typically concerned about tools that write to their mission critical databases. Once the data is in a table, we're simply joining that table against your source so that anybody using it, it appears that it's coming from one place. They don't need to know behind the scenes that we're simply augmenting the data that's already there. Once the data is augmented and ready to go, IT is not concerned about a third party tool writing to their source data, keeping IT departments everywhere happy. Now, how do we do this? You can see right at the top of the screen that there's a data input that you can add as an input to a data cube. Going into the data input and configuring it, you're able to choose which records you want to include. For example, record ID is very helpful. That way we can target individual records later that we might want to see. Good for reading and writing purposes. You might want to know who entered the data, who created it, when. And you can even come in and add specific columns. So if you click on add column, you can come in, you can choose the data type, the name of the column, and default values. Once you've structured the table that you want, you can go to the data preview tab and simply type in what you want to see. On the dashboard itself, it's possible to go in and use the filter controls in order to allow the user to make selections. Once you've allowed the user to make a selection, you can use interactions in order to set up a data input interaction. So you could do this on a button or as they make a change. With the data input interaction, you can see that we can choose the data cube that we want to use, and we can write directly back into it, even refreshing the data source as we do this. You can also see that there's some very useful scripting methods that you can use. Particularly, this one here, which is insert data storage record, and delete data storage record. So that way you can update very quickly by using the two of these. You notice that they are fairly easy to use. The inputs are basically the ID of the cube, the ID of the transformation, and then simply the records that you want to add. If you're using the delete, same idea, the cube, the transformation, and which record ID do you want to delete? So with a few lines of code, you can very easily write your own input system with your own custom UI to do whatever you need on the dashboard. As I mentioned earlier, this really is sky's the limit in terms of what you can do. So if you want to try this out yourself, hit that download button. 
all of this functionality is there and ready to use. You can build your own forms, you can do your own input, and even write your own mini applications right on a dashboard if you want to go that far. That's it for today, and thanks for watching.